throw this stupid chair away. We have no idea what street it came off of or where it came from. But then we thought, wait a minute, this is important. It's a perfect mode of transport for all kinds of things. We moved tons of boxes on this, on this chair. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> okay, here's, here's our first stop. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it great? <laughs> um, should I get a couple of different silhouettes, like a luncheon and a, and bring them over? And bring them over and show. And they're also different. Like, oh, I love this. This is one of the paler ones. And let's see. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, here's a really nice one. Oh, look at this. Oh, here's a really bright one. And here's a really kind of simple. But then those softer colors, people would, I don't know if they really want to see those with these, but they might. This is kind of on the soft side. Let's take these over. Oh. See, like, this is a really beautiful soft, but I don't think it photographs well. Oh, look at this. Doesn't that look like a desert or something? Oh, look at that. Oh, everyone, everyone. Oh, that's, look at this. I already see this one. Oh, look at this. like the sun on an early morning in the mist. Mm. It might be too dark over here. Let's see, I'll move these things over. Okay, my channel memos, I thought, look, I just want to show you. You have to see something first. Look how, <gasps> come back, step back. Look at that. Isn't that, you know, just ordinary storage turned into something so funny and it's just, it really is the sideshow. And it's just, all the cars are stopping. <laughs> and the carriages, all the elephants, everybody has to, has to see it. I haven't finished putting things in order, as you can see. But I just thought, you know, I don't think very many channel mammals or people in general have seen our flip-flop flip-flop mats. Let me just show you. Okay, there's all these different patterns. Now, this was a really big challenge to make because when we made these, see, we call them flip-flop because you can do it at a table setting one way and the other, one way and the other, or all one way and then Time for breakfast and all the other way. <laughs> when, it, you know, if it gets dirty or whatever. And then here's, this is a, beautiful, isn't it? Now, we thought this would be a really easy thing because these are basically a, like a luncheon size napkin. Look at this one. It's one of my favorites. My very favorite is the one I first showed you, this side of it with the pink in the back. And then, I love this though too. <gasps> this this looks so, um, I don't know, Northern European <laughs> to me. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Was, this is called gray goods. This has no, it's not bleached and it's not dyed. This color, and it's like that, it's called gray goods. And it is gray, but it's the natural unbleached. That's what they call it. And we made these in my favorite country, Lithuania, besides America, of course. <laughs> but in, in Lithuania, and there's something about that cool icy air and chickens in the capital walking on the streets and windmills in, across the fields. They actually make their linen, not all of it, but they use the windmill still for making the pounding basically it's these wheels that are crushing and pounding out the fibers um, for the linen 
um, the manufacturing. And I just love the people so much. I'll never forget when we first drove into town and met our host. I forgot his name, but he was so wonderful. And uh, first thing I asked him is, what, what do Lithuanians like to eat? And he said, oh, um, potato. And I said, potatoes? And he said, yeah, potato. And I said, and? He said, oh, potato. And I... <laughs> He took us to a restaurant that night. Everything in the restaurant was potato. And it was so much fun because you watch the way they eat their potatoes, and it depends on how they're prepared that they eat them. If the potatoes are made into a sausage, they eat it with a knife and a steak fork. I mean, a, a fork and a steak knife, and they dip it in mustard. <laughs> they treat it like as if it's meat. <laughs> <laughs> it is so much fun. I just loved it. And we worked there for quite some time and got to know them very well. And the people in the mill loved our ideas, but they said this was the hardest one of all because I, I, we wanted them to put this rope in between the two mats, which would give it a sort of a firm center to it, you see? And... Uh, it was not easy to do. And also on the black side, sometimes the thread would show through a little bit because they had to use a very special coarse thread to do this, which was only in a natural color, like white, you know, creamy, creamy color. So anyway, these are, these are the, but do you want to see how they go with Ishka Bibble? It's, it, it's just amazing. I mean, every one, every plate, look at that. And this, and every, I mean, they just look amazing. Look at that. It's just, it's like a frame. And it changes every single time with every one. Yeah, I, I, should, show, I should show you different ones. Wait, let me, show, let me show you this pale one with the pale. Oh, look at that. And then this side. Look at that. Okay, so now we'll do some of these stronger ones. I wonder if they'll look good with this. They still do. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't this just amazing? It's very dirty, but it's, it's still beautiful. This is our, um, a, one, another very difficult project. We, look, look at, <laughs> I mean, it just goes on and on. Oh, wow. Here's an, oh, here's a soup plate. Look at that on there. And then on here. And on my favorite color. Oh. Oh, look. It's just... Each thing... Isn't that precious? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I just want to show it all to you. Ooh. So dramatic on the black, isn't it? And the and the and the cream, and the violet, and the saffron. Ooh, that's just amazing, isn't it? And every single thing, we just keep. Oh, this is a beaut. They're all so beautiful. I can't decide. And I don't know how you can ever sell this online, because doesn't it just look? It's just so ah oh, rich. But there's no way you could buy these without um, seeing them. Because everybody, uh, there are some very extreme, like I think I have some, pa do I have, oh, I don't have so many pastel pale ones. But they, they look like sand in Arizona. Ooh, look at this is a really rich one. Whew. Oh, I like this one on here, too. I really love that one on there. But let me, oh, look at this. I just, and the back sides are all different because it's, the way they're made is, we, look at this one. We pour the, the, the colors and swirl them around in one hand and then dump, dump them into a bucket. And it's very difficult 
it's very, very skill-oriented. And the drips, <laughs> when we were first showing them, they, they didn't want, they wanted to clean off the backs or wax the bas back so it couldn't attract it. But I thought, no, this shows the motion. It's as if you're in the motion of making them. You're, you're right, right there where it's happening. Isn't that great? And I just, I don't know, I just love the way it worked out. But um, then you think, well, what happens to the, the inside? After you've dumped all these glazes into this bucket, I actually have films of, of doing this. But then you think, well, what do you do with this big bucket of m muddy colored glaze? Because when it's all mixed together, the, the runoff from, from these. And so what we started doing is we glazed the, see, the back sides of things. And it was different every time, this little mug. It was a different color, but mostly, Let's see, I think it mostly was, well see here's more of a bluish green color. See because it, d it depends on what colors got dumped into the bin. These are all, must have been done about the same time with the same, most of these are done with the same batch. Let's see. Yeah. But, um, and also but the, the way it's, see how it's kind of not even mixed completely? In, in itself. But, um, see these, all of these also had these knobs. These are the lids for sugar bowls. Aren't they beautiful? But they have to be ground into this part too. And then they had for their, their um, here's a good one, here. pretty but they never got finished but they could be finished we just <laughs> we just don't have anybody to sell them to right now <laughs> so whoop, or time <laughs> but it will be but look at how different some of them are really screaming loud and some are really soft let me get another plate that's one of the oh here's one I really liked oh and this one <gasps> oh gosh I don't know if you can see them in the dark over here, because look, even on this, isn't that beautiful? And I want to see it on something really dramatic, like the black, or the soft, kind of earthy. And let's see what it's like, the blue, here's the blue, and the um, gray goods, <laughs> gray goods. <laughs> Is that pretty on there? Look at that! So somebody might love it like that, and somebody might love it another way, you know? So that's why they can't, they're very difficult to sell. Someone else might want it like that. And it's just, here's another, oh, look at that. Isn't that just, I, I, when I start looking at these, I remember when I was in, in Italy working on these, and there's our little crest on the back, see? <laughs> Um, oh, this one is just amazing. And every time that, and there's the finger marks that you could, that are still there on there forever and ever, and thick dribbles. Oh, gosh. But when I had to do quality control, <laughs> I could not stop. And, I, and our, our way was more like this, but they also came out like this. And I just allowed myself to see that, look at, there are three different expressions right here. And then there's the really splashy ones like this. And like some of these over here, you know, these little lids. They're just, they're like crayon art. Aren't they funny? But look at how different they are. And so I feel like people, somehow we have to find a way to be with the people. Because they, you can't stop going through them. <laughs> anyway, my friends, we'll take one more look at our little project. <laughs> and 
it's it's all going to be filled up soon with other linens and aprons. <laughs> Here's our some aprons. Oh gosh. Have you ever seen our aprons? I wear one of these aprons. See, I hook this on this side for my pot holder, right? Easy at hand. And this is all hand done around here. Look, isn't that beautiful? This little towel. And it goes on this side. So you have a little towel to wipe your hands. And then, oh, I don't have, these don't have their um, proper straps on the top. But this beautiful sash goes around. <laughs> oh, look. There's the fringe on the bottom. One of the different variations of the fringe that we did as far as the dye colors are concerned. But look at how you can see the black and white stripes. And isn't that, I just love these. And I wash it and wear it and wash it and wear it. This is dirty from being in storage here. But it doesn't matter, it will be clean Some, somehow. Anyway, and, and here's the crest at the top, see? With the same as the towel. And this is a little pocket. Isn't that amazing how it all just works together? I, I know it sounds like I'm talking about our own work, but I don't feel like it is. It was, it was just coming at us. We couldn't even have enough time to stop and think where it came from. But we know where it came from, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. I'll see you again sometime. We'll try to do this more often, I promise.